Well, how did you realize how important the fundamentals were? Well, I was sparring one day with a uh, former uh, contender by the name of Justin Juco, and I was sparring with him, and he was maybe two inches taller than me, and but I think we had the same reach because I got a long reach for to be my size, but uh, when I sparred with him, I was squared up. And I didn't know how to stay on the angle. And when I learned how to stay on the angle, um, I was able to get my jab off, and I was able to uh, not get hit with his right hand because I was on the angle more. So that was just a little piece of uh, my introduction of fundamentals, of being fundamental because, you know, uh, you, you look at a Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson moved his head for a good heavy, you know, a heavyweight and everything. He had, he had uh, a, a, a explosion speed, a spl explosive speed, and he moved his head real good. But at the same time, he was squared up. And a person like Lennox Lewis, uh, a person like Lennox Lewis, they exposed him because they always stayed on the angle. And AJ was able to touch Mike Tyson even though he moved his head. But his jab was always be able to, to reach out and touch Mike Tyson because he was squared up. So things of that nature make you realize about fundamentally, about boxing, where your feet supposed to be, where your hands supposed to be, how you supposed to be in a position to, for your own advantage in, in the boxing world. And where in the body does the fundamental stand? Is it all from the feet up? Yes. Just like building a house, baby. Ground on up. You know, you your roof is not going to, you're going to have a leak in your roof if, you're, if you're, your foundation got a crack in it. Yes. The foundation of boxing is just like the foundation of building a house. If you have a, a, a foundation that's strong, you're going to have a strong roof. And, and if you, the same as doing boxing, if your feet in the right position, you can throw the, the, the punch that you need to throw with power on it instead of arm punching it because you'll be in a position to throw that punch. Let's say for instance, if you, if you step to the right and you throw a right hand and you take your feet with you, you better land a solid right hand. You step to the left and you throw a left hook, you'll be able to throw a strong left hook because your feet will be in a position to balance you off to throw that left hook strong.